there, grade 11 students, welcome to the new topic for the week. We are now on module 2, lesson 1. Lesson 1 discusses two most essential learning competencies. Number 1 is to identify the common rock forming minerals using their physical and chemical properties. Number two is to classify rocks into igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Before we will identify the rock-forming minerals, let us first define what is a mineral and what are the physical and the chemical properties of a mineral. For mouse number two, the question there is how are we going to classify the different types of rocks? When can we say that a certain rock is a metamorphic? When can we say that it's an igneous or a sedimentary rock? In this video lesson, all of your questions will be answered. So please prepare your notebooks and your pen to write down the important information for future references. We will not make the introduction long. Let's start! This is your teacher, Queen Queen, at your service. The rocks and minerals that make up earth serve a great purpose as they can be utilized as raw materials in industrial constructions, electronic devices, home appliance, and can even be molded into jewelry. The minerals that we will study here will include common rock forming minerals as well as economically significant minerals. To gain understanding on the difference between minerals and rocks, just imagine your favorite chocolate bar. A chocolate bar has a different ingredients such as the chocolate, caramel, and peanuts. Using this analogy, a rock is like a chocolate bar made up of different types of minerals clumped together. But what is really a mineral? To answer that question, let us first characterize a mineral. A mineral can be characterized based on the following criteria. Number one, it is naturally occurring substance. It means it should be found naturally on earth. Number two, it's inorganic. That means it cannot be formed from materials that were once part of living things. Number three, it is solid, which means mineral should always be in the solid state. It should have definite shape and volume. Number four, crystal structure, which means particles lined up in pattern that repeats over and over. And lastly, number five, it has a definite chemical composition which means elements should be in exact proportion a mineral can be categorized into two properties the first one is the physical property and the second one is the chemical property. The physical property of minerals refers to the outward appearance of minerals that are used to identify and differentiate one mineral from another. 
According to Rumble 2018, physical property of minerals are often utilized in classification as the definite chemical composition and atomic structure of minerals is usually reflected in its physical form. These are Number 1. Luster Luster is how shiny or dull a mineral is. It is the appearance a mineral makes when light is reflected on its surface. Number 2 is the color. The color is the most obvious property of minerals. Different minerals give off different distinct color. Number 3 is the streak or the color of its powder. This refers to the color of the mineral in its powdered form which may or may not be similar to the color of the mineral. This can be obtained by scratching the mineral on a strict plate. Number four is the hardness. The hardness is the property of mineral to resist scratching or being cut. A mineral has the property to mark the surface of any mineral which is softer than itself. Next is the cleavage or breaking in plates. This refers to the property of minerals to break in areas with weak bonding. This can be identified by the smooth and flat surfaces of minerals when breaking. But take note that not all minerals have cleavage. Next is fracture. Fracture is different than cleavage in that the broken surface will not be flat or even. The breakage does not occur along a distinct plane within the crystal that is. Fracture is typically uneven, however, can also be very distinctive. Several common minerals, quartz and olivine, will often display a conchoidal fracture similar to that seen in obsidian or broken glass. The chemical property of minerals determines its chemical composition and structure in the atomic level. Its chemical property also dictates the mineral's reactivity to various types of chemical substances. The chemical properties are as follows. Number one is the crystal form. This is a property of minerals which refers to the orderly arrangement of atoms that give them a solid structure. The arrangement of atoms determines the physical structure of minerals. Number two is the magnetism. Some minerals provide strong magnetic attraction to some magnet. Number 3. Reaction with acid. Some minerals react with acid and form bubbles that release carbon dioxide. Next is the taste. Some minerals produce distinct taste. Just for an instance, a sulfuric acid tastes sour. The Epsom is bitter and the sodium chloride is salty. However, this can only be applied for minerals which are soluble as some minerals may contain toxic materials. That's the 
end of our lesson. I hope that you learned something from this video. I personally recorded and directed this video class for you so that you will have a better understanding about our lesson. Please do not also forget to subscribe and click the notification bell below so that you will be updated with my latest video uploads. Thank you, God bless, and see you all in the next video. Bye!